Reaching the end of my ISEC experience didn't only mean saying goodbye to all the years that I spent developing leadership, but also the chance to finally be active on the ground, to witness firsthand the impact we create in communities all over the world. Before coming here, if I would have found one euro on the street, I would have bought something extra for lunch. While being in Rwanda as a global volunteer, I learned that families in the village can survive with less than a euro per day. Talking to locals pushed me to ask myself questions about the inequality present everywhere in the world, about why so many people have so much while others have nothing. While being a volunteer, I spend my weekends delivering workshops for women in a refugee camp in order to understand more about the problems they were facing and come up with solutions. Very few people spoke English in the community, so learning how to communicate effectively turned out to be very interesting. Through working as a teacher in the school, I learned that education can make someone free. free to make decisions of their own, and through that, to create a life for themselves. I was walking home with one of the teachers after class one day, discussing about the tense situation in Spain. He watched me silently as I complained about how our freedom of speech was being censored and tried to explain how difficult we had it. It was only when he started laughing about my dramatic storytelling that I realized how out of the place it was to complain. Do you know what it means to have freedom in Africa? He said. People here don't have access to education. One out of three adults are illiterate. They are limited by not having the right to know. It's poverty that limits our freedom. Every day, every moment I spent there impacted me by changing my perspective of life. I started appreciating the gratitude of someone smiling at you, the rain falling, the small joys of life. It made me become more at peace with myself, with my surroundings, and through that, I became a happier person, someone that chooses to live in the present. Once I saw the impact this project had, the way it managed to open their minds and provide hope, I realized I could start reducing inequalities by taking small actions every day. Volunteering abroad changed me as an individual, but more importantly, it contributed to make a positive impact on the world. Change happens step by step. So find your cause and start doing something. My name is Anna and I'm working for Sustainable Development Goals. What are you doing about it?